Ne du? Torre. Oh, wasn't a bad try, was it? From so far out, it's fully 40 yards, and Ambrosio, to his credit, watched it all the way and tipped it over. Hello Chelsea supporters, here at the Blue Day podcast, it is my pleasure to introduce our guest on the show today. He made 12 appearances for the club, keeping four clean sheets, and played alongside the likes of John Terry, Joe Cole, and Frank Lampard. Here is Marco Ambrosio. Marco, welcome to the show. How are we today? Good morning. Uh, this morning, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm very happy to, to hear uh, some... Uh people about uh, Chelsea Football Club. Good. I'm glad you feel that way. We're going to we're going to crack on. We're going to start by talking about your youth days if if I can, Marco. And what was the moment that you decided that you wanted to become a professional footballer? What sort of moment in time did you sort of decide that that would be your calling, so to speak? Uh I I remembered very well uh, this uh, this moment. I I was played for uh, for Kivo Verona in Serie A, and uh, my captain uh, was uh, was going to the end at the end of the season, and uh, uh, people uh, near to Claudio uh, contact me contacted me for a come in London. Maybe I decided in uh, two three minutes to ca- <laughs> to to come there. Because uh, it was a, a, a dream for me. It was a dream because uh, in Italy, Chelsea is considered uh, one of the best uh, team in, in the world. Can you believe that it will be 20 years that you signed for Chelsea? That, is, that time's gone very quick, hasn't it? Yes. So, <laughs> too, too quick. Too quick <laughs> because... Uh, I, I I stayed in London only for a for a year, hmm. and uh, in in this year Abramovich uh, have changed everything in uh, the club, and uh, and he bought a lot a lot of uh, big player, and uh, then at the end of the season I have decided to to go away, but it was so so fantastic the the, the year in uh, in Chelsea. Because uh, I have played uh, maybe 20, 20 matches, and uh, at the start of the, the that season, I I, I don't uh, think to to play too much uh, matches like that. When you had the initial chat with Claudio Ranieri did he say what he had planned for you for you to sign for Chelsea did he sort of see you competing with Carlo Cudicini for the number one spot no 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 he was very clear with me I I came there to 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 do the second keeper or the third because after come came uh, Sullivan that's and, right uh, I I fight with uh, Sullivan for the uh, second uh, goalkeeper in Chelsea. Kudicini was uh, the the first keeper uh, and uh, was the the one of the best uh, keeper in the uh, Premier League in uh, in 2003 mm. and uh, the, the season uh, before. And uh, nobody can uh, can discuss about it. <laughs> Kudicini was the first keeper and so <laughs> What was it like to work with Carlo Cudicini as as your sort of goalkeeping partner, so to speak? What sort of stories have you got of working with Carlo? It was a very we 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 built a, a good uh, um, uh, I don't know a, a rapporto um, a good link 
we we work uh, every day and we 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 stay uh, away from the pitch uh, always in a, uh, to eat uh, to come out uh, on the evening uh, and we stay a lot a lot of time uh, all together with the uh, two uh, and the and the family the same we come out with the family we stay in at home all together was a uh, now uh, carlo is uh, one of my best friend i i heard him uh, sometime and we, we we are friends brilliant he's a he's a very good uh, guy cuz looking back you actually signed for chelsea before roman took over the club what was your thoughts when joined this new club and all of a sudden the takeover happens what was your feelings on that the first uh, the first two two months uh, was very hard for me because uh, you have to to learn the language you have to learn uh, how you can uh, stay in the in the team in the club this is a lot of a uh, different uh, between uh, italian and the uh, Premier uh, and uh, English football, and uh, I have to learn a lot, a lot of time. But after that, uh, when I start to 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 speak English and uh, to understand how I, I I have to stay in the club, uh, every, everything was a uh, was fantastic because uh, you 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 are in, in a, one of the best team. You play for win everything and. Uh, you you have only to to play and to train 100% every day you have only to to think of this and it was a very 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 fantastic fantastic we 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 had everything from the club what was your first day of pre-season training like do you remember your first day at the training ground uh, in august we start uh, to learn in um, i i don't uh, i didn't remember the name of the center near to the hitro airport mm. we start and then we we came in umbria for uh, 10 days and then we, we we go in Malaysia for ten days for a for a tour. That's right. It was the pre-season tournament. I think it was like yeah. uh, Birmingham and Newcastle was there as well, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, everything for was uh, was new for me because uh, in Italy at, at uh, this year uh, nobody uh, go for a tour uh, during the the pre-season. Hmm. But uh, always was news was uh, new new for me, but. Uh, was uh, unbelievable. And for you, being one of the new recruits that summer, what was it like when you turn up for training and all of a sudden Hernan Crespo's there, Adrian Mutu's there, Claude Makaleli there, and one Sebastian Veron, well-established players. What was that like for you to then see them at the training ground and then constantly work with them? Every day, I remember that every day uh, it, it was a, a surprise for us because uh, came every day one uh, one new player, and we and we are joking about this because we under, understood that uh, the the club was uh, building a, a big a, a big team a big mm. team. They, they they was very serious. They want they were to. To win everything in uh, that year. And in your early days at Chelsea, was there any particular players you got on well that you got on well with? Could you? You you talked about your friendship with Carlo, sort of when you became one of the sort of goalkeepers at Chelsea. Was there anybody else in the team that you got on well with outside of training? I I remember that uh, Frank and uh, John Terry was uh, two of the best uh, 
teammates because they they work hard uh, every day. They was the first to kind to came on the on the pitch for the trainer and the last to 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 go out of the the training center. Mm. And they, they, they was uh, a, an example for uh, for all the team. I remember very well these these things. Now, it would be a couple of months until you made your debut for Chelsea. It was in a League Cup tie against Notts County at Stamford Bridge. Do you remember that game well? I remember that uh, that made uh, a, a mistake uh, with a, a high ball. And uh, for me, it was a fall, but uh, the referee didn't, didn't uh, think about, about me. But... Uh, it, it was okay because I waited for two months about the first match, official match, and uh, it was okay. It was uh, it was for me a, a, a good experience. And uh, and to play in Stanford Bridge for the first time, uh, it was uh, fantastic. Mm. Because it's not a, a big stadium, but uh, there is a a big atmosphere when you play. The 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 fans uh, help you a lot. Now that would be your only appearance for Chelsea that year, two thousand and three. Did you have any conversations with Claudio about looking to play more games, whether it be league or in the in the cup? Did you have any conversations with Claudio? No, uh, Claudio is not a, a, a person that uh, speak a lot with the uh, with the player. Right. Uh, when he decide uh, to 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 give me a chance, uh, he 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 spoke with me the the day before the matches, and right. it was a big surprise to me because uh, in my mind I never uh, think that. Uh, Claudio, in, in that moment, give me a chance. Hmm. Because later on that season, Cudicini suffered an injury. It would give you an opportunity to play more games. You yeah. made your league debut against Bolton at the Reebok Stadium. How determined was you, looking back, to, with the injury to Cudicini seemed to be more serious than it was at the time, that you was able to keep your place in the... Starting eleven. Uh, it was uh, everything quickly because uh, Carlo had an injury, and uh, two the day uh, before that there were there were the the first match against uh, Bolton, and I saw that uh, after three days there were the the derby in Champions League against uh, Arsenal. Yes, and it was for me every everything quickly, and I I and the, I remember that for three two three four days, I I sleep only for a few hours every night <laughs> because my mind uh, think about what uh, what uh, there will happen to me, and it. It will end that. It was a, a big chance for me. What was it like playing against Arsenal in the Champions League at Stamford Bridge? The atmosphere must have been quite electric that night because we didn't have a good record against Arsenal, did we, that season? I have a, I have a, a great... Uh, it, it was a great experience because the first uh, time in Champions League and uh, in, in a derby in the best... in the in the derby against uh, Arsenal, uh, I I I I feel a, a big pressure because I know that uh, I I I can't make a mistake because uh, because there were uh, my my big chance and uh, I have to do the the best for the team and for me. Yeah, and uh, I I think I thought that. Uh, the, the match, the match uh, against Arsenal was uh, okay for me. I consider a, a goal, but uh, the match was uh, was okay, and uh, we we draw. That's right. Yeah, we drew the first and leg. Then yeah. we, we 
we leave open the chance to to go to the semi-final. Because the return leg was at Highbury, wasn't it? And we were 1-0 down at half-time. Do you remember what was said in the dressing room on, on that occasion, knowing that you'd be 1-0 down, Arsenal scored, I think, uh, deep in added time, and you had to get at least a goal back to put it into extra time. What was said in the dressing room on that night? Before, before the game. Before and during. So we obviously we was we was one nil down in the second leg. What was you know what did Claudio sort of say or what did other teammates sort of say to rally the boys up? My well, nobody said to me something uh, special because uh, all the team was uh, concentrated to 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 to, to the match and uh, all the teammates uh, think uh, about the the match. I I, sp- I spoke only with the. Uh, we call him and, and the keeper coach, and uh, they said to me to stay calm, mm. to to try to do my best, and nothing. Because yeah, nothing. I have to only to be concentrated and to to try to do the my mm. my best. Because Frank Lampard scored the equaliser, and it, you know it was a case of anybody could have won it. And do you remember the winner from Wayne Bridge? I remember, I remember very well because uh, <laughs> after that, that uh, goal, uh, one minute and the and the, and the match was uh, was was finished, and uh, we have uh, we know that we have a uh, win won against uh, against Arsenal. Yeah, and I I remember that uh, it, it was uh, six years that uh, uh, Chelsea. Ne- the Chelsea uh, have no win uh, in uh, Arsenal away. That's right. It was a long time, very long. It's a long time, and, and uh, it was fantastic for everything for this uh, thing, and uh, because we we gone in uh, semi final. Because it was unfortunate from that game against Arsenal, our league form suffered. We did, I don't believe we won a game between the quarter final and the semi final. Why do you think, with the quality we had in that squad, why do you think we was dropping points against lesser sides and becoming quite inconsistent? Was it a case of the, the team was more concerned with the Champions League than the league? No, I, I, I don't know. I don't know because uh, uh, that all the team was uh, was tried was tried to to win everything. It was important the the Champions League like uh, Premier League, but uh, in the league uh, Arsenal uh, won the Premier League and never uh, and never uh, lose a match. It was uh, unbelievable that, that year, and we lose only four four uh, matches if I don't remember if I if I, if I remember uh, very well. And uh, after the the match against uh, Arsenal, we, did, we we decided to to focus uh, our attention about uh, the champion the, the 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 Champions League because mm. uh, we 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 found uh, in semi final three 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 teams uh, that uh, was no no a big team and. Uh, mm. We 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 thought that uh, now we, we we can try to win uh, the Premier League, but uh, for me uh, against the Monaco, we nobody play very well and uh, mm. we lose. It was a uh, uh, very sad. It was the twentieth of April, two thousand and four. <laughs> we went to Monaco for the first leg of the semi final. They actually had a man sent off. I think there was an altercation between yeah. their, their player and Marcel Desailly. We we score through Crespo. And unfortunately, the second half, for whatever reason, and I'm hoping you might share some light on it, that Claudio made some interesting substitutions, put certain players in different positions. For you as a goalie who can see the whole game in front of you, what was going through your mind at each point during that game. Yes, Monaco had some decent players, but 
they should not have beaten us 3-1 that night. What Was it a case of Claudio making too many mistakes? Was there players that didn't uh, know what no. was going on? I, 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 I think that uh, we, we, we didn't play the best match. We, I don't know why. Uh, the, the, I think uh, about me, my for the third uh, goal maybe I I could do uh, better. It was a but, header from um, Nanda, I believe, wasn't it? But Cross- that's, uh, that's the football. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you 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 done uh, everything uh, good, and then uh, this. Uh, this ball, uh, I, I, I could, uh, I could uh, save, uh, I think, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 I can do nothing now. But I think uh, the in the return uh, we have a big chance to, to to go to the final because at the end of the first uh, time uh, we we win we won uh, two nil, and that uh, the first uh, action uh, counter attack, the first counter attack of Monaco, we. Mm-hmm. We consider the goal. I I thought I think that uh, we stop the first uh, the first uh, half uh, two nil maybe we we have a big chance to go to the final because but, uh, Lampard and after that goal that uh, the match uh, the match changed. I was just going to say Lampard and Gronkia scored in the return leg at Stamford Bridge and so we was two nil. We was going through on aggregate. I remember watching and, uh, it. I remember Roma made a three big uh, save. We, mm. we, 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 we took two posts. It, it, it was, uh, it was such as everything in the first half. We, we, Frank we, took we, a shot that went over the bar, didn't he? And it was quite close from, from goal. Maybe the just... first half uh, uh, was, uh, if uh, the first half was, uh, Five nil, it, it was okay. Yeah, but uh, at the end was two one, and uh, it wasn't okay for us. Mm. Maybe in this alpha we 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 lose the uh, the chance to to go to the final. When you look back on that particular game against Monaco, the the, the two games, do you believe it was a case of Monaco? were simply too good for Chelsea or do you think it was more of Chelsea threw it away? Looking back now, 20 years later. Maybe we 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 we, we couldn't do better in Monaco for our uh, for, for, for us because uh, for me now the Chelsea was a uh, too, too strong like uh, Morocco, but mm. sometimes the the football uh, is not so right. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it it's the story. We lose a big chance to win the, the first uh, champion Champions League for me. And that pretty much sort of put a bow to that season there was you know we, we had we had the draw against Manchester United at Old Trafford that made us um claim the second place in the league and then a few months later Ranieri got the sack was you surprised that Ranieri left a little bit I was a surprise because uh one uh, was one of the best uh, uh, trainer in in England, and uh, made uh, a, a very very good season for Chelsea. But uh, I think uh, Abramovich uh, uh, was uh, were to, were to to win quickly mm. in Chelsea and uh, decide to change. Uh, to change uh, everything, maybe if we were, if uh, we we had uh, uh, won the Champions League at the other stage. Interesting thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> that be that would that, that would have been interesting. But everything depends uh, to the to the Champions Champions League, right? For Ranieri and for me, for a lot of players, because it was that summer 
that you departed Chelsea. You joined Grasshoppers, didn't you? What was the reasonings behind the move? And was this agreed before Ranieri got the boot and Jose came in? Or was this done when Jose no, arrived? I, I decided to go away because uh, I... I had I had spoken with uh, Mourinho, and right. he said to me that the, it uh, it will be the third keeper, and I decide to go away because uh, uh, I liked to to play and to to continue to play. This this is was uh, the reason. But right. uh, if I I thought now about this decision, it it, it was better to stay in Chelsea. It wasn't a, a good decision, uh, but uh, when you are a, a football player, you, you you want to play. So because I think uh, the reason if you work hard every day, it uh, it's it's that uh, you you want to work hard because you want to 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 stay on the pitch on Sunday. Was it a case because Petr Cech was signed for Chelsea? mid-season so he was coming in you had Carlo there as well was it that as a as a factor that made your decision more clearer no I I don't think about uh, I didn't think about it I I only thought that it I I was the third keeper and uh, I saw I I thought I have in front of me Czech and Cudicini when I play never (laughs) <laughs> that's one way to look at it I suppose <laughs> <laughs> well we've obviously talked about your your time at Chelsea Marco before we wrap this up I want to get your thoughts on the current Chelsea so what's your take on Graham Potter as the, as the coach and what do you think or what do you predict will be a good season for Chelsea Results are picking up a little bit. Obviously, changing manager, new players. Have you been following Chelsea much over over the last couple of years? I I I I follow every day, every day, and every time Chelsea because uh, when you play in a team like that, uh, the team uh, live in your heart, mm-hmm. and you are happy when uh, the Chelsea win. That's normal. That's normal because. Uh, it was a fantastic year. A lot, a lot of uh, 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 matches win. I I stay very well in the city. Hmm. I I know a lot, a lot of uh, fantastic players. You you cannot uh, uh, cancel this, and uh, it's normal that uh, now I I follow Chelsea, and I'm a fan of Chelsea. That's normal. Good man. Nice, nice <laughs> answer. Good man. One concept of football that has changed, especially from 20 years ago, is the introduction of VAR. What's your take on VAR? Are you, are you a fan of it? Are you against it? What's your sort of take on the technology? I think uh, I think that's okay. That's okay, VAR, because uh, uh, it resolves a lot, a lot of problems about uh, handball, uh, uh, sent off a uh, sent off a uh, uh, for a joke uh, about goal, no goal, and that's okay. But I think uh, the the wrong time, the wrong thing about the VAR is that uh, a lot, a lot of time uh, the, the 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 referee stop uh, the the matches and the matches uh, lose uh, r- rhythm. Mm. You understand. And they think uh, they have to use the VAR only for the important things. Goal, no goal, uh, or, uh, or uh, sent off or not, if there is a, a big, uh, a wrong, uh, sorry, a wrong uh, fool, or for the, for the penalty. After uh, and uh, for the other thing, I think there there is the referee on the pitch, and they 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 have to decide and on and on and on to stop the the, the match for all the things, in, especially in Italy, 
there is a lot, a lot of topic to the match, and, and I think it's not, it's, it's, it's not good, and it's not okay for the player and for the fans. Would you have enjoyed playing with VAR introduced, or would it have been more of a problem? Uh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> I think it's okay, but but they have to use in the right uh, direction. Yeah, yeah. I think to change uh, something, but I think it's the right direction. But it, uh, help a lot, a lot of the referee. Now, finally, Marco, last question from me: How do you look back on your time at Chelsea? Is it with fondness? Is there a little bit of regret in there from certain decisions made, or? What what sort of overall your experiences with Chelsea? It was uh, it was uh, fantastic for me for my family. Uh, my family liked a lot London. Uh, all my family came to to visit London, and uh, it was a a great year for for every for for my career. For my life, and uh, uh, I think it's an experience that uh, live in your heart for uh, for uh, for your life. Well, Marco, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. I could listen to your stories all day. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you too. You're looking well, and hopefully one day we will see you back at the bridge. One day. I I I I I I think a lot a lot of time this this uh, this but uh, I work uh, every day from uh, two to ten o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I I think that uh, one time I want to, I I want to come back to London and I, I and I want that my child come to see where uh, his father played. That would be awesome. That that would be really good to see. Marco, all the best and take care. Thank you for everything and uh, I, I always uh, for Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs>